And here's why they had to evacuate and on their way to the K Bailey Hutchison Center. There's no access to clean water in Beaumont. That main pump station lost power. Marcus Moore is in Beaumont with the latest. Finally, the rain stops and there's a break in the clouds, but the problems in Beaumont are only getting worse. Uh, I'm just devastated. Because now I have to go home, tell my husband that we have no home to live in. In this neighborhood in the north, water continues to rise. Residents saying it has never flooded here before. But it seems with Harvey there have been many firsts. An unprecedented storm that's left the entire city of more than 100,000 people without water pressure. This was the scene at an HEB. A line of people stretches past the front door for food and water. It's what is good, it's important. You got to have water to live. And Pamela West Jones details just how dire the situation is. I had a coffee cup can dipping my water in buckets, walking with it to go flush my toilets. You do what you got to do, baby. God bless you. Okay, you go, sir. Thank you. Yes. As long as it lasts, we'll keep handing it out, as long as they let us. You got it? Okay. Nearby, Faith, Love, and Hope Ministries of Fort Worth gave out cases of water. We came through miles of high water to get here, but we knew that the Lord would make a way. They needed Thank us. And there was more activity at one of the city's largest hospitals, Baptist Beaumont, where nearly 200 patients were evacuated because of the water outage. This is a city under assault, and for many, a test of their faith. But you know, God is still good. All they got to do is hold on, because he's on his way. And it seems Harvey has not yet broken anyone's faith, but only made it stronger. In Beaumont, Marcus Moore, Channel 8 News.